Nazim Hamed made his debut as a flyweight in 1992, and the man who always said he was destined for greatness began it all in April of that year in Mansfield. His opponent was the none too demanding Ricky Beard. He just had nine fights, won only two of them, and seemed a perfect choice of opponent against a debutant of whom great things were expected. Beard probably knew exactly what to expect too. Hamed had already been making waves in the local press and the cocky teenager from Sheffield was already talking up a storm. It was scheduled for six rounds, but Hamed confidently believed it wouldn't go the distance. This is the ring debut of one of the biggest names in world boxing in the 1990s. A man who, even at an early age, knew just how to make an entrance. Commentary comes from Jim McDonnell and David Brenner. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this contest is a flyweight contest at eight stone two pounds over six three-minute rounds. Introducing in the red corner with the blue and the gold shorts from Dagenham, Ricky Beard. And ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner with the leopard skin shorts from Sheffield, making his professional debut, Prince Nazim Hamid. And ladies and gentlemen, at the weigh-in today, both boxers scaled eight stone, two pounds. Your referee for this contest is Paul Thomas of Derby and your timekeeper, Norman Mallox. Paul Thomas, another referee that we've seen up two times on Pro Box, most latterly when he disqualified Eamon Lochran up in Bury against Tony Akubi. A brave decision that. So Paul Thomas is not a man to be trifled with. And any little bits of gamesmanship that Hamed tries, I'm sure that Paul Thomas will come down on him quite hard. Round one then. Nassim is a southpaw, but he's very unorthodox and throws punches off either foot and either hand. Very, very fast hands. And Ricky Beard, he won his two first two professional fights inside the distance. And since then, six defeats and a draw. And he's a far better fighter than that record suggests. Far better. And Ricky can punch for a flyweight as well. He carries absolutely. Good, good power in the right. Absolutely. Ryan. And Nassim needs to remember that. And his first three minutes of this round is very important for Nassim to get out of his system. You know, despite all his experience in the junior ranks and so forth. You know, this is like his first fight again, really, on, in the professional ranks. You know, he mixes and trains and always has done. With the likes of Bomber Brown, Johnny Nelson, to name but two. It's a tough fight for your first pro fight, this. Very much so. There's that right hand. He caught Nassim bang on. Well, he can take the shot. He certainly proved it there because Ricky hit him bang on the chin there. And he come back firing. Good sign. You need to stay tight. And interestingly enough, these rounds are three minute and not two minute duration. There's that right hand again. That may take a little bit of flamboyance away from that same. Well, I hope so, for his sake. Break, stand back. I'd like to see, you know, it's not always the top juniors that make it into top professionals. And you know, if it goes a few rounds, three or four, I'd be interested to see and that's in Copes. Right hand knockdown. That was a touchdown. Pure speed. Just briefly. Paul Thomas waves it on. That seems starting to relax a little bit now. That'll give him a great deal of confidence. Not that he lacks confidence anyhow. The only fighter to beat Ricky Beard inside the distance is Robbie Regan. And he's the British champion, let's not forget. Absolutely. <laughs> Ricky doing the right thing, staying cool. He'll be looking to load up on the right end. Fascinating first three minutes. He's certainly very, very quick. Quick and very confident. A lot of raw edges. 
Mark Hugh is only 18. Let's not, not, let's not, let's not forget. Too much. And he will feel a lot better after that. I'm sure he will. In the first three minutes of Nassim's career is now history. If he starts to relax now and flow, we may see what they've been talking about. The speed, the power, and the class. You know, Ricky, as I said, is not intimidated, and he's shown that yet again with that right hand there. You can see Nassim arrogantly saying no when Ricky Landy shots, but... Fascinating matchup. Good fight. Little smear of blood underneath Beard's nose. Ricky Beard grinning back at Nassim. He's enjoying this. Are we all matching for gamesmanship? Don't worry about that. I always like Ricky Beard. He's a 100% wholehearted fighter. Absolutely. I say, tough practicing for Nassim, particularly if it goes beyond the third round. It'd be interesting to see because Ricky always gets himself in good shape. And he'll relax as well. And the physical advantages that Ricky possesses over Nassim are absolutely phenomenal. He's taller, longer. He looks like a whole division above him, really. He does, you're right. You can almost sense the frustration he feels because he can't get near Harmon at the moment. Good shot. Body shot. Found with arrogance. That was a good shot on Ricky. He'd do well to get over it. It really took the wind out of his sails. And that's all over. <laughs> Well, a delighted young man doing his flips for all to see. <laughs> you look at this body shot because you will not see many better this year, Jimmy. It's the leverage he gets into it, Dave. There you see him setting Ricky up and bang, right through the middle.